course, is Faye Tess. Joining me as, I would say always, but as usual, is Asher. Yep. We did have to miss Asher uh, looks, uh, last week, but he's back with us in the land of the living, and we're continuing on. Let's just say this. It was an adventure. All right. Not the best one, but an oh. adventure. Looks like nobody's here. Where did they go? I'm going to go look around. I mean, not nobody, nobody. Oh. That's weird. I don't remember. I didn't remember the shops not being available at this point. Okay, nothing going on mail wise. There's a whole lot of nada. Nope, the shops. Oh wait, that means I can access up here now. I got a black belt for free. Nice. Uh, even the synth brothers are gone. But I get yeah. some gill. Wait. Okay, no, that's just that. I've already checked up here, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there should be no change for up here. And there isn't. Okay, cool. Well, there's only one place left to look. The graveyard. Where is everyone? They went away with Kuja. The other two other guys stayed behind. They're probably at the Chocobo Shack. Why? Why did they go with him? They learned about our lifespan. We can only live for a given amount of time. Kuja said he knew how to extend our lifespans, so everyone followed him. He's lying. I bet he's lying. Look what he do look what he's done to us. He's been using us, treating us like puppets. Maybe we are just puppets created to serve humans. <gasps> Come on, that's nonsense. Where did they go? I can't tell you that. I can't betray them. Then why didn't you go with them? You said the two other guys are in the Chocobo Shack, right? Vivi. Okay, fine. Don't talk to me. Rude. Okay. Now we go to the Chocobo Shack. Hello? Is anyone there? Vivi. Please open the door. Huh? It's born. Oh. Wait. It's a chocobo egg hatched. Finally. Finally. Hooray! Hooray! I still can't believe it. Yeah. I don't understand. Why are you here? We're here to look after the Chocobo. At first, we were going to go with everyone, but someone had to stay behind to look after the Chocobo egg, so we stayed. We kept the egg nice and warm by putting a lot of hay over it. I can't wait to show them to everyone. They're going to be so happy. We have to come, with the, with the, come up with a name. Hey, what's happening to me? I feel strange. 
M me too. You stayed behind because you were worried about the chocobo egg. I don't know. I wanted to follow Kuja because I was so scared of dying. But I couldn't. I felt like I was leaving something important behind. I want to ask you something. What is it? A am I going to stop pretty soon too? <gasps> I don't know. Who just said the prototype built before us would last longer? But I am going to stop eventually. I was really confused when my grandpa died. He told me, Vivi, no need to be sad. So I told myself I can't be sad. That's why I felt confused again when I heard that everyone was stopping around here. I didn't know what to do or what to feel. But when I saw Dagger crying when her mom died, I wasn't confused anymore. I was sad. If I were just a puppet, I would have never felt that way. Mr. 288, we're not, we aren't puppets. I know we aren't. I hate him. I hate Kuja. He's turning P everyone into puppets just to kill people. If it weren't for him, I know everyone would understand someday. It's not fair. Vivi. Kuja's secret place is on the eastern side of this continent. <gasps> It's buried under a quicksand. You'll need a ship to get there. Thanks. I hope we can become strong like you someday. Vivi has so much on his mind. Unlike me, he's fighting so hard. I thought I would change after I met Zidane. Once I acceded to the throne, I think that's supposed to be ascended, but okay. Once I acceded to the throne, I knew I had to change. But nothing has changed. I'm so helpless. Wow. Dagger, were you listening too? That crybaby sure has come a long way, don't you think? Dagger? Are you alright? Don't worry too much. Vivi has his own way of dealing with things, and you have yours. Come on, cheer up. We'll beat up Kuja, and you'll get your voice back in no time. Sedan, is something wrong? Okay, let's get going. Mr. 288 said Kuja's palace is buried under quicksand, right? Yeah. We're taking the ship to the eastern side of the continent to get there. Um, not precisely, no we're not. We have another way of getting around. Oh wait, I'm not actually gonna... Yeah, 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 yeah. Since we put in all that work on the chocobo, it would be a shame not to take it, right? Right. Well, that's more of an earthquake than quicksand. Are you sure this is the right place? Hmm. Maybe keep looking. Oh, right, 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 right. Never mind. I know what that was. Uh, okay, so these are the quicksand. And now we're going to save. Also, this is where stuff gets interesting. As we'll see momentarily. Really?
Well, there was a chance. Now I know that one is a sand lion. Ant lion. Or ant lion, rather. You spoony bard. So oh. While we're doing this, oh. Oh, that was a mighty hit. I haven't gotten to it yet, but. Ah, them's biggins. Yeah, and unfortunately, it apparently has a physical counter. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, I'm guessing you're talking about BD? Uh, no, the physical counter is what it did to Zidane and tried to do to Steiner. Ugh. Oh. I think I just saw the mighty hit. But. Yeah. But while we're fighting this, there was the announcement about early access. For Endwalker. Ouch. Uh -huh. What about it? December 3rd. Yeah, we knew that. Okay. Well, no, they actually finally confirmed it on the lone uh, loads. Oh my goodness. Also, I finally played Final Fantasy V Pixel Remaster. Uh huh. Uh, they oh actually shit! I forgot about that. That's gonna be a problem. Okay. Uh, but they made some changes to the script again. For the 5R? Uh, for the Pixel. 5PR, the rather. Yeah. yeah. I mean, they're good changes. Because they kind of keep that weird, uh, goofy slash serious aspects. Considering that, uh, the one that I actually decided to take a screenshot of was, bar uh, like, I'm not sure, how, uh, like, you played a little bit of it, right? Yeah, I played uh, pretty much. Um, I played up to the um, the falling fight or the flying fight or the whatever you want to call it fight. Uh. So you played up to essentially Ronka. That sounds about right. The giant flying fortress with the beam cannons. Yeah. That's Ronka. So you never left World One. That is also accurate. Um, but, uh, what are the line? Is, so, this is when they were trying to steal the ship from... Ferris. And Bart goes, hey, leave her alone, you degenerate, lecherous, piratey... Pirate. <laughs> <laughs> Which, I think they've interpreted that various ways where... <laughs> Alright, so now... No, damn it. I could have sworn no. it was that you defeat it and then you go in. Maybe you have to defeat a specific one. Or maybe you have to go to a different one. Let's yeah. try this. I'm 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 interested in getting no. What if I use the ability flee? 
Does it clear it out? Nope, can't escape. It's considered boss status, got it. But... Uh... <coughs> as... <coughs> Sorry, everybody. Wasn't quite quick on the, uh, button. Okay. Uh, it's definitely, it's definitely straight up Final Fantasy V, like all the other Pixel remasters. Mm -hmm. Um, admittedly, people are still a little peeved about how the fact that all of the Pixel remasters have this one flaw. Mm -hmm. You cannot change the window color. That's weird. So you are stuck with Final Fantasy Blue window color. Um, admittedly, from my perspective, I think they're focusing on trying to get the games out. Because it's probably a very, very small team that's working on this. Oh yeah, well, and plus, I mean, let's be 100% honest. Uh, if you have to put everything on a line of what is the most important, uh, having the ability to change your window color is very minor compared to having, oh, I don't know, a working game. Yes. Um, the other reason why I say there was probably a very, very small team on this is because guess what also got released at least sometime during my adventure last week? Hmm. Final Fantasy VII First Soldier. Ah. Uh... Which a lot of people are, are kind of pissed about it because guess what? It's a mobile game only. Well, yeah, we knew about that. We knew it was going to be mobile only. Yeah. That's not yeah, exactly a newsflash, are... I'm afraid. Yeah, and people are going like, why can't we have this on Steam? Because... They've actually had stuff like um, Final Fantasy Mobius on Steam. It's gone now, though. Uh, Final Fan uh, some of the Final Fantasy mobile games have shown up on Steam and then disappeared because, well... Eh? Uh, but I feel like First Soldier would if they could put it on Steam, do fairly well. All right, we're gonna try this again. Okay. And I'm using a second tent back to back, which means that I'm very pissed right now. So I may end up save scumming if I choose the wrong one the next time. Yeah. That's fun. Cause, I mean, we're getting literally nothing for these fights. They are a huge drain on resources and we're getting like freaking 80 XP. Like, what is that BS? Yeah. 80 XP. That, that is not is the right one. That is early game. <laughs> that is early game experience. Yep. Not... This would be mid to late game? Uh, yeah. yeah. We're going to go ahead and save scum. I'm, I'm not doing that right now. We are burning time. And I would much so rather we have we uh, we are getting somewhere in the story. Okay, so let's review. That one is not it. Th that one is not it. So it's got to be this one then. It. Uh, that one. Okay, maybe I just have to fight my way through it. And if I if this one isn't it after I fight my way through it, then I'm gonna be really freaking pissed because I know we're in the right place. I know for a fact we're in the right place. And yeah. I remembered us having to fight our way through it from somewhere. Admittedly, it could be one of the. Uh, it's like my idea of like it's a specific one. That tends to be what they normally do, but 
There's also the one that I absolutely hate, and I you know, think you can agree with it, especially with the way things are being treated right now. Pure rando. Pure rando or all of them? No, I know for a fact it's not all of them. Yeah. I swear to God, if that kills someone... God damn it! Dagger, get your head out of your fucking ass. We're already at that point of the game. Okay, Sandstorm should do literally nothing to the party, because they're already in uh, critical. Actually, hell, it Sandstorm just gave Zidon 5 HP. That's how beat up my party is right now. Well, because the way that the skill works is it reduces your party, uh, all the all the party members, to a random near crit or random critical value. But she was all, but he was already at one, the lowest possible critical value. So Which means that the odds of the dice giving uh, giving him a lower number is impossible. The odds of the dice giving him a higher number, on the other hand was, well, I mean, that's how it played out. Yeah. I see that, sir. Sorry. I forgot that I'm sitting on nine, uh, 99 potions. I'm going to use a few of those to top up after that battle. So I was trying to hit it when it wasn't poofing. Maybe I have to wait for it to stop poofing, to be poofing. No, because it just did it again. I swear to Bob, what the hell is the problem here? I'm actually tempted to look up the guide because this is pissing me off because I've never had this bad of a luck getting into this. You want me to go check? If you okay. don't mind, because I... This is bad. Uh, okay. So. Two. Should be under Desert Palace. Okay. Guides. 100 guides. What's up? Okay. Okay, somebody updated the PlayStation Guide two months ago. Hmm. I mean, like, it works, and it's probably. Just <coughs> recommended it. So, let's see here. Um, you said Desert Palace? Yes, please. Okay.
a I'm just trying to read Desert Palace. <coughs> uh, disc three after Black Mage Village. After getting the Blue Narcissus. After the, uh, if you search for like the Strange Potion, that's another good way of finding where we are. Because it's after we go through and get the three potions. Yeah, I'm trying to read this guide and it's not optimized. So. It may have been updated two months ago, but fuck that. Okay, here we go. Let's see here. Okay, disc three. At this point, honestly, I'm heading back to town. I can't keep burning through tents. It's kind of sad because, like, the one guy that looks like it's probably good doesn't list the Desert Palace as Desert Palace. It might be under Kuja's Palace? Uh, the way they list stuff is, like, card tournament, trouble on the home front, aftermath, picking up the trail... Forgotten Continent? Both Continent? Okay, Forgotten Continent then. Let's check Forgotten Continent. Or no, sorry, uh, picking up the trail. Forgotten Continent's where picking we're up. going after this. Uh, picking up the trail. Let's see, return. Ah, here we go! Outer Continent. Uh, look around. The, uh, this is where you. Before proceeding, remember to remove any equipment needed by others, blah blah blah. Yeah. You need to select for Exantic. Picking the wrong one will thrust you into a battle with an antline. Simply choose the pit with no sand rising out of it, but aware that once you do, you won't be able to leave for quite some time. Yeah, I knew, I knew that. That's not an issue. Um, let okay. me see if I can stay at the end now. now That's that... the only thing they state about it. So look for the Pick one the that one... never has sand. Yes, from the sounds of it. Okay, so that's what I was that's what I was fucking up. Okay, got it. Alright, can I sleep here now now that the party's together? Can I get my free now in? Party can I get my free is... in? Nope, no free in. I mean there's there's nobody else here. Just let me sleep there. It's not like I'm kicking someone out of their bed. They're literally everybody know in the village. Fine, whatever. We'll go up to the frickin' we'll go up to Rally Ho. Mm-hmm. As opposed to Lally Ho. Or Rally Ho? Well this one's Rally Ho. Ah. That's why I said as opposed to Lally Ho. Mm -hmm. I think I will. I will spend a hundred guild to stay the night. There we go. Everyone is in the absolute picture of health. Let's go save and go back. Or no, let's go back and then go save and then save. Because I want to save right outside the palace because, as you said, uh, once we get started, it's going to be a while before we have full control over the party again. Mm-hmm. Because events. <coughs> yes. Okay, so there were four, and that's part of the problem, I'm sure. Because I only just saw three initially until right before we left. Okay. So that one is poofing a lot. This one, I've not seen a single puff out of. Nope, never mind, there's puffing. 
This one, I'm... That one I saw, and then this one is I'm not seeing any poofing out of. All three others I saw poofing, and I only see the four. So it's got to be this one. My guess is that when we fought an ant lion, it uh, reset every time. Probably. And there we go. Just directly in. <laughs> I knew you'd come. Everything is going according to plan. Zidon! Wait. <coughs> Damn it, what did I, voice did I give him now? Oh, yeah. Zidon! Wake up! Uh, Sid, where the heck are we? Good question, Rob. I wish I knew. After I fell into the quicksand, everything went dark. That's all I can remember. Me too, Rob. When I woke up, Rob, I was in this room. Oh yeah, where is everyone? I don't know, Rob. I hope they're alright. So, you're finally awake. That voice. It's Kuja. I'm so happy to see you again. You rat bastard. Where are my friends? My, my. Aren't we feisty today? No need to worry about them. They're in rooms not unlike yours. Oh, yes. By the way, I should probably enlighten you as to your current situation. Yikes! I am sure that even your feeble mind can grasp what would happen if you were to take that plunge. <laughs> Kuja, you're dead! Oh dear. Was it something I said? Either way... Now that you're aware of your predicament, I'd like you to do a tiny little favor for me. I'll let your friends live if you say yes. Damn it. I have no choice. Damn it, I don't have a choice. Very good. You've chosen wisely. First, step outside. Hey, Sid, I need you to look after the others. Fine, I won't let you down. And you, Ribbit, you move, you come back safe. Yeah, I will. See ya. Not these guys again. Stand between the two black mages. And there's nothing I can really do in here. Welcome <coughs> to my humble abode. Just cut to the chase and tell me what the hell you want. My, we're upset today, aren't we? Well, this is your errand. I want you to go somewhere and bring something back for me. So, tell me what it is already, you demon. I'd watch my mouth if I were you. Surely... You haven't forgotten that I hold your friend's lives in my hands. <sighs> I'm going to send you to a place called Welvert. Where's that? Welvert is south of the Seaways Canyon on the Forgotten Continent. It really isn't my kind of place. What do you mean by that? You see, there's an anti-magic barrier around the place. And I want to send you because you're too stupid to use magic. Once there, I want you to retrieve the Gulag Stone for me. What do you say? Isn't it a simple task? I'll even send you on my luxury cruise ship so you won't have to worry about transportation. Hmm, perhaps it's too much for you. 
I better send you with three of your friends just to be safe. Besides, nobody likes to fight against himself. Hmm? <laughs> Never mind. Speak their names when you've chosen your partners. So he pretty much already told me exactly what we need to do here. This, uh, we have to split the party into magic and non-magic. <coughs> oh. <coughs> so I'm taking... That. Yeah. So I'm taking Steiner, Freya, and Amaranth with me. Thankfully, we've got, um, Freya's White Wind plus Amaranth's Chakra. So we've got a pretty yeah. decent heal setup. It's not amazing by any stretch, but it's going to be... It's better than what we, you know, than having none. Plus, we do have a good chunk of potions. And then the other party is going to be VV, Dagger, Ico, and Quina. Huh. I want Steiner, Freya, and Amaranth. <laughs> Fine. I shall summon them. Steiner... Freya. <coughs> and Amarant. Step through the door. Proceed to the center of the platform. Now, it is possible to take um, a less than optimal party, but they are literally screwed. If you do. And by they, I mean us. Spare me the emotional reunion scene, please. Now, go stand with your friends. You better keep your promise, Kuja. Of course. You needn't worry one bit. <laughs> oh, what a bunch of idiots. Alright, so let's go ahead and start by equipping them up. Everyone should be decent on uh, training stuff. Also, I just realized, um, ah, oh, shit, I don't have a good dagger for Steiner, for, for uh, Zidane for this. So there's a trick to the place we're going. Um, the entire place is upside down, which is code for, uh, if you are well, if your weapon is good, you will do bad damage. So you need a bad item. Yep, you have to you equip bad weapons when you're actually in the place. Uh, Zidane, I don't actually have... Like, the worst I have for him is a 21, which is still kind of good, so he's probably going to be on the low end. But I have a broadsword for Steiner. I have a javelin for Freya, which 18, so it's not amazing. And I have uh, Amran's cat claws. We'll do all right. We, we should be fine. Also, does anyone need any topping off right now? No. But I do want to make sure. I think I saw someone who didn't. You got it equipped. I just saw something that piques my interest, but it's not Final Fantasy related. So I'm going to probably stop it there. But hmm. I mean, we can definitely discuss it later. Possibly. I mean, like it's it's in the same era of PlayStation One RPGs. Hmm. It, it's a rem. It, it's a as they've been putting it, a DX remake. But the property itself, I've always wondered how it could survive it in the modern age because it had a, one big gimmick. Also shutting up now. Sorry, it was literally just that one line for the moment. Okay. That must be the Hildegard one. Yes, it is. 
We, when he said we're riding in luxury, he wasn't kidding. Oh, and yes, there are there is combat in here. Also, I have taken a haul, so I hope that helps. More for the uh, more for the coughing slash your throat sake. That too. <clears throat> also, I think that was Eddie that posted the heart. Ah. Because that was definitely not me. Okay. Well, in that case, hello, Eddie. Okay, these guys are being a little rough. Well, from the sounds of it, if these guys normally uh, outside the tower would be doing negligible physical damage. Oh, no, no. We're nowhere near that area yet. Oh, okay. So this is just... This, this is, is just them the being... Real... No, we're not even in the tower yet. We're still uh. technically in the palace. We haven't left the palace yet. So it's just... These guys are just fucking rough. Yeah, these guys are just... Well, they are just rough. And I think part of that is I haven't really done any real grind. I mean, like, technically we did do the grind for the Chocobo, but... That's... Well, yeah, but that's different. That's not XP. That's not levels. Oh! That... Oh, my! That was 2,500 XP off of that one enemy. Uh, well, off that one uh, fight. Mm. Yeah, nice. I'm definitely, I'm definitely uh, lagging a teeny bit. Plus factor that there's also the AP grind. Which I also haven't been doing, yeah. Does Steiner have a, a, a sad face on him? That's kind of like a, more like a frown. Well, it's got a little tear on it, but... I think that's just his, uh, Guy Liner. Uh. I was told not to go any further. Okay, well. I can't even control the camera. That's... Hey, can we really trust Kuja? Hey, can we really trust Kuja? Hey, say something. They will not answer to you. Respond to our orders only, they do. Why, you backstabbing bozos? Those are slanderous words. Worse lies I have never heard. You needn't concern yourself with such things. Or an end to your friend's lives we shall bring. Mm. Damn it. The black mages were originally designed just to oppress. But a strong sense of self the black waltzes came to possess. Always obey us, always obey us these mages too. Be as a strong ego, they have not. These mass-produced ones are to break once we're through with their lot. Other purpose than war, they have not. They have grown BRB. attached to life, yet they'll soon disappear. Hilarious, nothing but toys are they here. I don't think you guys are any different. What? Rubbish. You say that the black mages have no souls, but you guys are pawns, just like them. Am I right or what? You won't be talking so big once we're done with you. Regret those words you will. Well... 
Let's just take it easy until we arrive. Drive safe, all right? And here we are for the first time finally on the Forgotten Continent. What are you doing? You need to go south. Finish the mission, then you can board. Anything you need, I sell. Perfect. That is what I wanted to do really quick. Just making sure. And I may need those sooner rather than later, so let's get those now. And we'll get a couple more of these. Just to be safe. And then we are going to call our trusty Moogle friend. But we're going to create a sec. Uh, we're going to go over the second slot instead. Because, like we said before, from here there's no way out until we're done. But I think as we were flying in, I believe over here, I think I saw footprints. Unless I'm tripping, I'm tripping. Okay, cool. I swear I saw footprints as we were coming in. Oh, joyous. Hopefully everyone's got jelly. what I miss? Uh, we landed. We're fighting a cataplepus, which m means I really hope everyone had jelly. Oh, right. Oh, and it's dead. Well, that's good. Oh, right. I fought one of these already. Yeah, they're not that tough. It's just that, they, that there's a risk. Yeah. there. Well, I mean, there's always a risk, let's be honest. But yeah. also, I feel like... I'm trying to find, because I know there should be footprints. Oh, wait, before I continue. Since yeah. I know those are in this area. Uh, you do not have Jelly active. Uh, but I don't want to take off Antibody because of that. So we'll take off Flea Gill for now. Um, bugs in this area? Birds in this area? I think bugs aren't. So we'll turn off that to give him Jelly. We'll have to turn off bird killer. Maybe. It's beast killer mo uh, more than likely. A beast killer definitely I want. But the problem is, is that, you know, I have a limited amount of space. Oh, you already have jelly turned on. Good. Yeah. Uh, let's go ahead and turn off. I definitely want to keep undead. Um, I definitely, definitely want to keep alert. Because that's preventing back attacks. Yes. I'll go ahead and I know I should I don't think I need man eater. Uh we'll take a chance on Devil Killer and give him Beast Killer. And we'll continue mm. from there. But I'm trying to see because I when we were coming in I thought I saw um Choco wait, is that it? I thought I saw Chocobo um tracks here. And we're on the continent that I couldn't access before. So we've got and... a couple of things up here we can grab. Hey, it's an Armstrong. So there should be chocobo tracks, we just have to find them. Yeah, no, there are definitely chocobo tracks, 
It's like you said, it's a matter of finding him. Is that the Doom House? <laughs> yes, it is. That looks way stupider. I mean, like, after Final Fantasy VII's remake version of the house, it was like, yeah, they. Uh, I, I will give them props for turning that weird ass enemy that you encountered in one area into a mini boss that was exciting as hell to fight. Oh god, and it was. It was very exciting to fight. Eddie kept having problems because Eddie is the type to... I'll just physically DPS this down. Nope. No. no, no. <laughs> this is the... You have to use elementals on this, Eddie. You have to. Otherwise, you increase the, t uh, the amount of time you're fighting it by fourfold. He beat it, though. I, he, but he was an idiot during the entire time. As long as it keeps using uh, that attack, that one attack, it's not going to kill me. But Jesus, it is making healing after this battle a pain in the ass. Yeah. Excuse me for a moment while I do some prep work. Sorry, it's that that slight adventure has me having to do certain things at certain times. Yeah. To make sure that I live. Which obviously and, isn't ideal. Yeah. And so the times that I have to do this at are 9 a.m., 6 p.m., 9 p.m. And while it's not 9 p.m. just yet, it's time to get ready for 9 p.m. Yes. Admittedly, it's just a couple of things. Nothing too serious, but it's like, I'd rather... Oh, come the hell on. Get the prep work done now. Admittedly, some of this will be going away fairly soon. So the prep work gets reduced fairly quickly. There we go. That fight only took forever. Okay, we got some abilities learned and a new card. A new card? At least I think it's or a new a card. card. Okay. I mean, is it possible I had it before? Yes, but I think it's new. Mm-hmm. Yep, it's a new card. 4M13. Okay. Also, my card list is starting to fill out pretty nicely all of a sudden. From all I that wonder... from all that stuff that we did. God, yeah. I wish we could have done this before the card tournament. Wait until you see the what the card or the Masamune. God. Or the Alexander for that matter. Jesus. Right? Where were these cards when I needed them? Hell, even the blue Narcissus would have been nice. Yeah. But yeah, now we got some good cards. We got some good soup. We got soup.
Wow. Well, I I was I was running high on potions. Yeah, no, that's definitely tracks over there. Sweet, I'm almost there. Haha. -ha. All right, there we go. Oh wait, no, it's Ibsen's castle I was thinking of that's upside down. We've got time before that. Ah, uh, so... Uh, let's see, so there's a withered peninsula. There's a withered peninsula and there's a peninsula down near the very end. Which I think the Wither Peninsula is this one over here. Yeah, that looks more or less like it. It said it points at the treasure. Maybe it's still on here even though it says it points to. Because this does look like it. Oh, it is. Possibly? There it is. Ores, ethers, opals, and a demon's mail. Mm. That sounds pretty tasty. What does it look like? Oh, that's that's a pretty good jump from where he is right now. But he's still learning jelly, and you're still you've got shield armor, but demon's mail is better for you too. But you need to learn distract. Also, if I remember right, somewhere in here, I think it's on here, is one of the cracked walls. Provided we can find the cracked wall, that's another treasure chest we can pull up. Okay, no, it's not this one. So yes, I know we are, we are interrupting uh, gameplay for more of what we did Sunday, but this is an area we couldn't get to on Sunday. Yep. And in fact, let's be honest, if it hadn't been for the bonus stream on Sunday, this entire stream would be this. Oh, there it is. I found it. Nineteen eye drops, a Medane's ring, a Genji helmet, and a Hildegard one card. Nice. Yes, you heard that right. Genji helmet. Not the card, the helmet. Which actually is not that amazing in this world. But it does teach HP 20. Hmm. We're going to have Freya go ahead and uh, learn that since she's done on all other helms right now. And it is, t it is still the best uh, helmet I have right now. And then, let's see. Hildegard 1 card. Hildegard 1. 4P40. Okay, not bad, not bad. Now for this one, I need to come, and I believe it's actually all the way down to the south. Just about as far south as you can go. Also, we're about to encounter a place that is a big spoiler. Spoilers. Notice how I try and run to this place and... It's actually really hard to get in there. If I stop moving, it kind of pushes me away. Wonder what kind of place that would be. Okay, 
it's not here. Maybe it was over here. This does have kind of that kind of shape. Kind of. Okay, no. What about over here? No. Okay, so it's got to be down here then. There it is. Phoenix Downs, Ors, Kaiser Knuckles. <laughs> so Amarad's currently still using Poison Knuckles. But now I have Dragon Claws, and then I have Kaiser Knuckles, which, if that's not the best Knuckles in the game, it's pretty damn close. So I can turn him into a major powerhouse, but I also am trying to learn abilities. So, I mean, the struggle's real at this point. Alright, let's see what we can do. I don't want to, I don't want to spend the whole stream grinding... Which, if I was playing this on my own, I definitely would be grinding a lot right now. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's go ahead and clear this. So, conveniently enough, that's where I'm headed. Almost like being able to call a chocobo here is really useful. Velvet. Oh, and here's a Moogle standing here. And you have a mock shop, hell yes. With some brand new equipment that I need. usual to have visitors here. Please do deliver my mail for me, Koopo. I want you to deliver a mail letter to Mole. Okay, cool. And that was a lot of money I just spent, but, you know, well spent. Yeah. Wing gives it on auto haste. It's just gonna make life easier. The faster he does stuff, the better stuff happens. Accurate, accurate. Alright, and into Welvert with us. This must be the entrance. <clears throat> open up! No way I can open a door this big. Uh, I don't know what's going on. But I guess we gotta go inside. It's an honor to be here. <laughs> remember very little about this place. Aside from the fact there's a lot of stuff going on. 
Oh, hey, I got a free diamond sword. I am so glad I just bought a, that diamond sword now. Ooh, shield armor. Oh, wait, you're still learning. You're still learning, Jelly. And you gotta learn, uh, you have to go to plate mail and get locomotion after that. Oh, well. As we get fights, we'll get stuff. No, I don't want to go that way yet, I don't think. I feel like I need to hit all, I know I need to hit all of these, like, I don't remember what order everything's in. Power vest, okay. Feather boots. <sighs> Looks like some kind of contraption, but it doesn't respond at all. Maybe there's a switch somewhere. Same thing. Yeah, same thing. Okay, so I'm missing something before I can activate these. Mm, fun times. Probably through that blue door that I saw on the other side. Wait, unless it's this. What a strange looking ball. Nothing. Yeah, no, I'm not here yet either. Quite frankly, it's been... Oh. Looks like the door's sealed. No way I can open it. Well, we are just go. We're just uh, batting a frickin' thousand tonight, aren't we? Uh. That's okay. I will find it. Rising sun... Which I don't care, because I don't use the throw command. Elixir. Come on. There it is. Okay, that's now changed to red. Which means the blue door should now be, o uh, be able to open. Ah, that puzzle. Oh, that's what that message was. I forgot about that. Which was? When he said you don't, uh, people don't like fighting themselves. That sounds like doppelganger speak. Hi, Steiner. Yeah. Bye, Steiner. Oh yeah, I, g I did give everyone uh, jelly. Good, 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 good. Cool. Because guess uh, what he just tried to do? Dune? Yep. Petrify? Literally called stone. Okay. Oh. Guess what my party composition is for five right now? Uh, no clue. Uh, of course, knight. White mage. Black mage. And thief, but can you guess on which people? Uh, thief Ferris. I'll let you guess the entire group first. So. Well, that's no fun. What if I already got one wrong? You already did. Yeah, I kind of figured I had. Um. 
white mage butts. Two for two. God damn it. You want, uh, you give up? I, I'm a little focused on this battle, I'm sorry, if I'm being honest with you. That's fine. So, Butts is Knight, Ferris is Black Mage, Lena is White Mage, and Galoof is Thief. So I'm guessing as long as the doppelganger is out, Signer's dead. Yeah, because I, I bothered to bring him back, and then immediately uh, he got KO'd again. So the thing is, is with Epitaph, you actually do have, um, it can actually even copy your party members that aren't here, which I wish it freaking would, because it only oh. uses physical attacks anyways, but it also would stop killing Steiner. Like, I'm going to end up having to spend money I don't have to buy more Phoenix Downs at this rate, because uh, Amrat hasn't learned Revive yet. Ugh. But in my experience, I've only ever seen them summon three times, so... That's kind of a... Sa well, it's like one of those safety features that I think they implemented later games for the dividing enemies, where it's like, a after a certain point, uh, they just can't divide or summon more let's try trying to petrify me but guess what did not work can you use a soft on the epitaph that is a good question and something i should try next time i run into one because i've never actually tried that i don't think i mean I that feel was a like lot I of xp though 7400 xp I did get one of my Phoenix Downs back, thankfully. Okay, so it's not a complete net loss. No, not not a complete net loss, no. But still, that that's it. You use three, and you're down two. Yeah, exactly. Let me see what I got as far as abilities learned. If I can maybe move someone on to something else. Yeah, I can move you on to a new armor. Yay. I'm tempted to take him off spare change so I can start learning rev Oh shit, I don't have the ability to learn revive yet. I don't have those that claw. Wait, no, I can learn it off an accessory. What am I talking about? I was like, wait a minute. What am I talking about? What body? Something? Wait, I can I not? Oh, come on. Tell me I did not do what I think I did. You used it for something that... One of the mages has it. Uh, One of the mages you... currently has the rebirth ring. Oh, boy. It's, it's okay. No, it's it, it's fine. It's, it it's fine. It's, it's fine. This is fine. Everything's on fire. Nothing's on fire. What are you talking about? No, what bodies? Bodies? I just said there was a fire. I think you're hallucinating the fire. So one thing I do remember about Wolvert is everything is on the left for now. Oh, there we go. Now things are turning on. Is this okay. a planet? Was that writing that just appeared? Mother, Terra, uh, I can't make it out. Zidane, can you really read it? It's not that I can read it. It's more like the words are talking to me. Yeah, uh, Zidane, that's that's called reading. 
how do you Unless know it's why? one of those like psychic ability, psychic projections. Yeah, I think that's what they were trying to hint at. Where the words are just popping into his head. Essentially, yeah. Okay, so now when I come down here, these should now work. Nice. No, nada. Cool. Thanks, Zidon. Oh, there's a proper order. Right, I have to start at the top. Top to bottom. Or top, bottom, middle? No, it's like, it is, it, it, I knew it was either um, clockwise or counterclockwise. All right, Epitaph, let's see what you got. How do you like... How do you like becoming soft? Became too soft to live. Bingo. We got our workaround oh. for here. And how much EXP did we get this time? Well, let's see. Because I didn't get any doppelgangers. No XP. But I did get AP. Uh, no okay. gill. So... No XP and no gill, which means the XP and the gill is from the doppelgangers. Uh... So, unfortunately, so, it's not going to be a good answer. It's We're not, not going to have... Answer, but it... Oh, I can upgrade from the Partisan now, though. Nice. I can go up to White Draw, uh, to Ice Lance, which is White Draw. I think White Draw is MP Restore. Yeah, you can put Omron on a better wrist piece. I just want to preview. Ugh. Stupid game. Aha! It worked! Ancient ship. Oldest in history. I knew you just had to do it in the right order. The ship for war. Shipbuilding technology primitive. Come on. Come on. There we go. Battleship Invincible Prototype. Prototype Failure. The first Battleship Invincible. Improved version currently in use. So that's interesting. Wait, no, I don't want to go that way. Because that leads over to where I literally just was. Now you should open. No? Oh, no, I need the orb up on the bridge. Derp. But yeah, Invincible is what, um, what Kuja called the giant eye in the sky. Huh? It's gone. Whoa! Beginning of the city. Huh? Huh? Now it's gone again. Whoa! At first, the city flourished. Soon, began to decline. At its peak, cities all over Terra. Then the decline began. The decline. So, what the heck is all this? Okay, now the blue door should be unlocked. Because we had to look at everything. Yep, now it is. The Hall of Faces. What is this place? What a disturbing room. Friend of Fro. Wait, it's saying something. 
visitors climb atop the stone. I could understand it. Huh. I guess it's speaking directly into our minds. Well, let's go. Visitors, listen well. This is the record of our civilization. The seed's decline was not our fault. Our vegetation and vessels died out. The decay of our terra triggered it all. In order to stop the decay, many methods were considered. Hmm. And ultimately, the best minds of terror civilization gathered. Then, a final resuscitation was attempted on the mother continent. Unfortunately, it ended in failure. It was later discovered to have been the catalyst. Subjects were selected. After full tremendous sacrifices, eternal prosperity seemed within reach. Flora and Fauna were revived, but is still in stasis. Final results are still pending. In, our, in order that our glorious history not die with us, we were constructed. Hmm. Zidon, what could this possibly be? I want to know too, but our friends are in danger, so let's save them first. This sounds like a, one of those plans where it's like, oh, we're going to try and revive the planet. But... Yeah, kind of. It's like, we're, we're going to revive the planet. We've got this great project in mind. It's going to make but... all the difference. When we implement this project, all the humans will be sur will survive. But we will be the instruments of our own survival. Uh, I'm gonna stop the joke now because that's. I I'm pretty sure people get the idea. Yeah. Point. Thanks for delivering the letter from Mimosa. Arti uh, Artemision hasn't been delivering mail lately. Let's read it, Koopo. I haven't received any mail lately, Koopo. What's going on? Hey, Muel, would you go to Magnet Central and complain for me? I'm so mad about it, Koopo. Mimosa is scary when she gets mad. I'm not sure where Magnet Central is, though. Oh, we know. Is it actually back in Alexander? No. Uh, so, Sunday, uh, on the bonus and content stream, uh, we found uh, we found it. It is on a island north of the Aoife tree. Ah. So, we have literally found Mog HQ. Yep. Or, correction, mm -hmm. Moogle HQ. It looks like that other planet. What's this? Another planet? Third one. What the heck could this mean? Three planets. Um, not necessarily three. I'm making a joke, but. Oh, I got a Gaia gear. Ooh. And now it looks like a goofy frog. Uh, knowing what I know about what's coming up, I almost feel like it would be better to upgrade my gear, even though it means turning off my ability to learn new stuff as much. Yeah. Let's go ahead and do it, because this is going to be a hell of a fight otherwise. It's that type of boss? Yeah. Okay. Like, I feel bad 
And I'm gonna have to undo this later for damn sure. But... Things are what they are. Yeah. Okay, that'll work. And away we go. So, this is what Kuja was harping about. Time to head back. Whoa! Huh? Something's coming. Down the hole. Welcome to the fight against Ark. Ah, uh, Luna is berserk to all targets. Good to know. Interesting. That's... That's an airship. <laughs> yes, quite literally. I'm guessing we defeat airship. We get airship. No, quite literally not. Aw, oh, damn it. Shit. Is this actually gonna confuse anyone? I forgot about that move. Oops. It. Power break missed. There we go, that knocked him out of it. Ah, yes, the lazy Susan of confusion. Also, does Zidane not have any MP at all? Yeah, he's currently out of MP. Ah. Oh god, Whirlwind. Freya's gonna hurt from this. Oh no! Maybe Whirlwind is a percentile damage? It looks that way, but it also is add float. Which, if an enemy has add float... Uh, ooh, Holy Lance, nice. Nice. Come on, Zidane. If there's anything left, grab it. Well, Float's already wearing off. Thankfully, it doesn't last that long in this game. Yeah, versus... Boomerang. Well, but... Okay, I think that the Elixir, Holy Lance, and Boomerang... No, 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 Boomerang is the attack just used. Doesn't have anything. Cool. Let's take so it the hell out. Relax. And Steiner looks to be in Steiner mode. That he is. That's a boomerang? That's what it called it. Ugh. Well, countdown's definitely not going to work. Curse isn't helpful at this point, so... Armor break will help a little bit. Yeah, absolutely. But it missed. Ah, uh, shit. Who's confused now? The entire party! <laughs> Sorry, I don't have a soundboard to do it, but...
And Zidane's down to one health. That's not good. And Steiner just went for him. <laughs> Steiner, no. That's okay, Zidane's got haste. He got a high pot off on himself. And here comes Whirlwind. Oh god. Ombron just uh, just KO'd himself. And here comes the boomerang again. Thankfully, that did wake everyone up. Oh no, come on, not propeller wind again. Everyone but Zidane is confused. Oh, hey, that... That ship... Wait. That should have been out a couple days ago. Uh, as a heads up, I decide to be one of those weird boys. And, uh... I pre-ordered the Final Fantasy XIV cookbook. Oh, God. Are you talking about the battle you're dealing with, or the fact Both. that I got that? I got it because I actually wanted the recipes in the book. Well, I mean, I hope that's why you got it, but also, oh god. I'm guessing you've seen some of those recipes. No, I'm just trying to wrap my brain around it. Oh I god, mean, no, like not Propeller Wind again! Fuck! Okay, so clearly the correct answer is I lose this battle. Lose. And immediately uh, just set it back up with everyone having protection from confusion. Yeah, that. So remove jelly and then move over to confusion if they have it. Uh, everyone should have clear-headed. Should. Shoob. Because, obviously, we don't need protection against Petra. And Freya just took out Amarant. And Ow. another Propeller Wind! Ow. And uh, now everyone's confused again. Everybody's doing the lazy season. Freya woke up. And Freya's the only one alive. Uh, at that point, that's the uh, scrub time. Yeah, there's no coming back from this one. And there's Boomerang, right on cue. That would have been hilarious if that had killed him. And there's Propeller Wind. That's the wipe. There we go. No, she missed herself. God damn it. Whirlwind. 
with no way to heal. Oh, she's a, she's awake. 68 HP. Nope, never mind. She's not awake. You said 68? She's at 68. Oh, yeah, here's no. Boomerang. There it is. There's the annihilation screen. That's okay, because I chose to continue, it puts me right back in the boss room. Good. Now let's let's get those modifications in. Yep, let's go ahead and take off Beast Killer and get put on clear headed. You're still keeping jelly? Eh, why not? Doesn't matter. Clear headed's guess... all that matters. Yeah. I'm guessing uh Oh, Sender doesn't have access to clear headed. So let me switch his gear around. Find where I can get clear headed for him. Hopefully we can find one for him. I mean there's magician shoes, but I don't know if I want to use that. Is there another option for him? Any accessories? Ah, gold a uh, gold helm. Ah, good. Which also gives him the uh, the option of mental break. Oh. Which, considering how both of the other breaks worked, I don't expect that to be much better. I mean, it's a boss. Yeah, that it is. Alright, we're going to go ahead and burn one of my precious ethers on Zidane for his boosted damage. At least initially. You know what really sucks about this? Other than, hmm. obviously, everything. Is that, um... I, I got all the steals really easy. So what do you want to bet this next time isn't going to be? Not... Yeah. Bit, you may have to do a, uh... Off-screen grinding session. I mean, no. Just, just no. <laughs> You're now following in my footsteps, good sir. And Sanders already entranced. God damn it. Oh, no, no, trance. In trance. Elixir. Sorry, it... Okay. That's kind of good. Uh, but it, it's like the way that you put it is he's already in trance. And I'm like, oh, yeah, no. Yeah, as soon as How you the... reacted negatively, I, I realized what you were reacting to. Yeah. Because my mind went immediately like, there was a charm move it had? I wonder, oh no, Luna actually also affects the party, screw that. Oh, I got the Holy Lance. That's kind of the right. big one. So the only thing we're missing is the Elixir, technically. No, I got the Elixir last time. Oh. It's the, whatever the third thing was. Yay, Propeller Wind! Yes, keep using that move. Use that all day long. Tell your friends, tell your family members. Tell Kuja. Eh, I don't know if I go that far. The Signer is just sitting here, staying in defend and not taking any actions, so I don't burn off his trance early. Whirlwind again. Not bad, not bad, we're okay. Well, 
We'll go ahead and reapply. Because I'm sitting here just doing chakra with Amaranth, so... I can definitely afford... To keep uh, hitting Raise Wind. Keep the regen, regen ticking. There's the Power Vest. That's three for three. Now we're good to go. Yep. Now we can just start wailing, wailing on him. Photon. Okay, Photon is that ability where it reduces somebody to probably 1 HP. To 1 HP, yeah, exactly. I'm curious how much thievery will do at this point. Decent, meh. Hopefully, or... it should be decent. It shouldn't be meh. I've gotten enough uh, successful steals that it shouldn't be meh. Oh yay! It's another photon, and again, it's on Amarant. Uh, and Steiner's done. At least on my screen. Yeah. Uh, 1,200. I mean, it's nothing to sneeze at by any stretch. That's about two but and a half his, uh, his normal attack. So it's decent. Yeah. Aw, uh, Propeller Wind, really? You promise? After all this time... I'm going to try Armor Break again. Because I think it said Miss, not Guard, right? It said Miss. So it um, might work. It might just not be 100% since it's a boss. Yeah. It said Miss again. Maybe it is. Well, uh, I'll probably just say stick with don't, because yeah, most... I'll just stick with physical attacks. It's just weird because that's the kind of stuff you expect to be a boss fight move, and like I know it's you know a common troop. There's a lot of stuff like that that doesn't work. But sometimes stuff like that does work for bosses. Yeah. I mean, like, armor break and attack, uh, atta uh, like... Armor break, power stuff. break type stuff. Usually bosses allow that. Usually. Yeah. Because it's like, okay, we'll give you a caveat that you guys can use those abilities because then it makes it easy on you. Whereas status attacks like sleep, Poison, yeah. Confusion, petrify. No, we're not allowing those. Although because... sometimes there's a trick to get around that. Yeah. Considering that I'm wondering about one specific trick that you can technically do with the Berserker from Final Fantasy V and a Death Act.
because apparently the status effect of it, uh, death blow on the death axe uh -huh. is considered a different type of instant death attack than the rest of the spells that do it. Ah. And so technically you can death blow stuff with the death axe using a berserker when they feel like it that you normally couldn't in the original SNES game. And that got translated over to the PlayStation 1 version because of how they worked it. Uh, to explain, uh, I, I think, should I just give the lowdown? I mean, at this point, you kind of already are. Basically, the PlayStation version had an emulator for the Super Nintendo on the disc with a live translation patch that basically had a Japanese ROM of Final Fantasy V, which is why it took forever for everything to load in that game on the PlayStation. Yeah. So, I think this is like the third or fourth time I've explained that, but... It's still one of those, like, it's still a marvel of what they did. There we go. We took out Ark. We just beat up a, a sentient airship. Finally. And they still learned a bunch of stuff. Ooh, I forgot about that. And we also got a pumice piece. All right, let's put everyone back to their normal stuff. Back to the way they were beforehand, so they can learn shit. Okay, there we go. All right, we get the Gulag Stone. We gotta get back to the others. And scene transition. Why am I trapped in here? Hey! Someone let me out! This is no way to treat a lady! Oh. I hope Sedan and the others are alright. I'm sure they'll come back for me. So, how do you like the special sweets I reserved for each of you? By the way, Sedan is out running an errand for me in return for your safety. But I hate keeping promises. And I so love deceit. So, I thought I would give you a special death to remember me by. My palace is home to a magnificent hourglass. As its sands fall, the floors of your rooms slowly open. Well... Isn't it a fabulous idea? Your lives will be spared if the hourglass is reset. If Zidane comes back in time, that is. Oops, just ten more minutes. 
Better start praying. Farewell, my sweet, lovable morons. <laughs> what? Somebody help me! Farewell, my sweet, lovable morons. <laughs> that bastard, Kuja. That doesn't work. If I don't save them, no one will. Say, I reset the hourglass and locked it just because I was ordered to. What we're doing is wrong, isn't it? Wait. Isn't that better than to stop functioning? C come on, let's go back. Turning off that trap again? I still don't understand how you do it. You basically have to turn them all on. You're just thinking too hard. Let's go. That is a big clue for what's coming up next. Recommendation on how to handle the next few things. Yep. The next area, you have to turn it all on. And that must be the key that we're talking about, Ribbit. Red light, green light. I mean, it's no creepy doll and high-powered uh, uh, sniper cannons, but... It's still... God damn it! Yes, of course you should stand still when it looks this way. I was so close too. I don't have it uh, forever. Okay, I got it. Nice. And now examine. Okay, no. I don't need to. Wait, no, wait. I do need to examine. Damn it. No, uh, A is the wood one. So it's B, C, D. Because it's one's wood, one's stone, one's iron, and one's like clay. And you need the three heaviest ones to weigh down that side so that he can jump up there. Fun. There we go. I just have to turn this upside down, Rivet. Now, everyone should be alright, Rivet. And yes, we did it. <coughs> Sorry. Salute. I thought it was a goner. Thank goodness we made it. Aha, you all made it, Rivet. Huh? Huh? You saved us. And it wasn't easy, mind you. But we've no time to celebrate, Ribbit. I heard from two black mages, Ribbit, that there's some kind of trap up ahead. 
They said you basically just have to turn them all on, whatever that means, Ribbit. Let's hurry. That's right, we can't just rely on Zidane. We have to work together until Zidane gets back. We can do it if we stick together. All right. Now to equip everyone in the party with some upgraded stuff. All right, um, so basically we have Blue Mage, Sumner, Black Mage, and White Mage. Yep. That is essentially accurate. Oh, I just saw Quinn as level. Yeah, that might suck a little. Either Quinn is going to survive and level yep, up. Yep, and there's the fucking ring right there. Vivi had it. Why does Vivi have it? He was learning auto life. Okay. And wait, doesn't Auto Life use a Phoenix Town? No, um, it's basically re -rays. Oh. Oh. Damn it, I just screwed up. I don't know why I did that. What the hell was going on in my brain, I do not know. And as much as I would love to learn Flare, now is not the time to use that. No. In the eternal words of... Some man in far off land full of monsters. Now is not the time to use that. What was I trying to do? I don't. Oh! Yeah, that makes much more sense. That's fine for now. Um, actually, wait. Oh no, you don't have ability up yet. Can I do something with that really quick? Yes, if I give you Green Beret for now, you can learn it there. Nice. I'm guessing ability up uh, allows people to uh, double, equip. Doubles AP gain. Yeah. That's what I kind of thought. Oh, wait. No, I don't want that. Want that? No, I just remember what healer does. Um, think it think heal rod with whatever equi weapon is equipped. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay. So basically, they turn whatever weapon they have into heal blank yep. and then you start honking people yep and i literally mean people yes not monsters. exactly um wait what was i trying to do that i couldn't do oh she has ability up but not level up uh, i want to give everyone level up for this because a they're going to be fighting a lot and b they could definitely use some uh, gains. Oh, here we go. Pearl Rouge. Yeah. And I don't want to take away her. 
there isn't a great option there because she doesn't have a ton of uh, points yet. But with this, she'll get a, she'll get points back enough fast to get her MP back. Okay. All right, let's proceed. So basically, I just have to be observant and activate everything that I come across. Does and it have a switch? Yes. Turn it on. Hey, does it have an obvious switch? No? Well, then find it. Well, no, that would have been the second question. Is the switch obvious? No. Find it. Faithful Paladin, extract the power to nullify elemental properties from the ring. Inspect the bloodstone? Yes, sir. I got a promised ring. And I just took away um, his, the, bo the final boss's elemental null. That's really? how this place works. Every oh. switch you miss is a buff the boss gets. Uh, of this area or of this entire final? place okay uh see illusion of the goddess promises there we go you turn both demons heads away to get the path Light those torches. Fairy earrings, yay. Is it all three for this one? Yeah, all three opens that path, okay. So then we come over to the other side. And then it's all three over here as well, I think. No, it is definitely not all three over here. Also, by the way, it is past the two hour mark. Oh, okay, so as soon as we find a Moogle, the problem is that might be a little while. Yep, so, overtime. I just wanted to make sure you knew what was happening. So. Yep, and I do appreciate that. Okay, there's that bloodstone and that door open. Uh, Faithful Paladin, extract magic from the chain. So, taking away his magic boost. Nice. Oh, there's another bloodstone. The strength to resist from the armor, so taking away physical defense. And really, this is Team Mage, so... Yeah. But, still... Sometimes you just have an urge to bonk. Plus, I do have, um... Quinna on this team. Ah, right. Quinna, Quinna likes bonking. Quinn likes stabbing with with their fork. 
And I'm pretty sure that a couple of those spells just do physical damage, actually. Because, well, blue magic. Unlit stained glass opens fully when the path oh, opens when the path's fully lit. Uh, the power to dodge from the bracer. So, remove dodge? Yep, uh, well, a reduced dodge. A, a would have gotten a huge dodge boost, in other words. Uh. Why are you not letting me... I should be able to... There's that one. Oh, right, derp. Now I remember. I remember there being enemies here. Well, let's see if you jinxed yourself. Oh, I just heard a Moogle. There you are. All right, so we went a teeny bit into overtime, but not too far. Yeah. So next time we'll have to pick back up here at the Desert Palace's library. Um, if you enjoyed the show, thank you for watching. Uh, you can definitely uh, give us a follow here on Twitch, so you'll know when there's more content coming up. Uh, as well as if you want to subscribe, please feel free to do so. Uh, especially if you've got a Twitch Prime sub that's burning a hole in your pocket, by all means, feel free to send it our way. Uh, beyond that, we do, of course, have our YouTube where we uh, have a backup of these, uh, which may or not, may not be getting updated. Uh, hopefully, we'll be getting updated. Um, we have we broadcast we mention on Facebook when we're going live, so feel free to follow us there. Uh, let's see, we have our podcast. I know we haven't had a new one. I think we had a, a weekly, not that long ago. We haven't had a perspective in a while, but yeah. they, you can definitely follow them on, uh, on all of your major podcast platforms, be that Apple, be that uh, Android, or Google, Android, uh, be that Spotify, whatever, or Anchor, whatever you use. Um, yep. Uh, we have a red bubble. We're not doing much with it yet. Don't worry. We have stuff in the kind of works. Uh, we have a Patreon. We're not doing much with it yet. Don't worry. We have stuff kind of in the works. We do not have an OnlyFans. Please stop asking. Uh, let's see. And, I mean, that pretty much uh, does it for that. And then we have... We are going to be streaming... I think we are streaming tomorrow, right? Yes. I got confirmation from Eddie to, uh, this morning. Perfect. So we have a 14 stream tomorrow where we will be picking up from where we left off, uh, kind of finishing up in um, the Radica Greatwood and heading back into uh, Amarong. Ratika. Ratika? Yeah, I mean, Ratika. Ratika. Whatever. My brain is tired. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, we finished up Ratika Greatwood. We're going in back to Amarong. Uh, we've got, we've got a nice little trip down the well for them. They don't know what's coming. Oh, <laughs> boy. That place. Um, yeah. and then from there, we should have another stream for 14 on, I want to say, or no, I, I think we're skipping next week altogether, right? Or we have a Tuesday only. No. Tuesday only. Okay. So next, we will have a Tuesday next week as well. Uh, we will, uh, be back with this one on Black Friday, so please be safe. Um, if possible, avoid, just avoid the stores. Like, just, yeah. what are you doing? Just digital Black Friday. It's 2021. 
given the fact that uh, this is from my own perspective that have uh working at a uh this is w uh, long ago mm -hmm. that the deals you see online are now essentially the same deals you see in the store yeah pretty much they do not distinguish anymore pretty much yeah so there's really no the unless you're really there for the blood sport which why um excite aside from that there's really no point in going to the store anyways be nice to yourselves and to the employees that have no choice but to be there do your black shopping uh, your black friday shopping online yeah i know that recent uh the most recent thing is uh get it online and then uh essentially pick up in store it's like okay try and be nice to the people if you do that yes please they they remember they have no choice but to be there mm -hmm. so be kind uh with that said uh now that we got our preachiness out of the way uh thank you again everyone for tuning in to front row geeks uh have a wonderful evening and be safe out there night everybody bye